We are all neighbors following the moon. Let's look into the night sky for this class. Do you live in a place where you can see the moon in the sky at night? Well, it's there whether or not we can see it. Sometimes the moon looks like a little sliver. Sometimes the moon looks like a round ball. And sometimes the moon looks like half of a ball. Do you know the difference between a full moon and a new moon? A full moon looks like a complete circle or a ball. A new moon looks like, well, nothing. You can't see a new moon at all in the sky. The moon takes 28 days to go around the Earth. During the 28 days, a pattern is created of how we see the moon. First, the moon is new. We can't see it at all. Then it seems to grow bigger each night until it is full. After the full moon, it seems to get smaller until it is a new moon again. Some holidays are scheduled according to the cycles of the moon. Our Jewish neighbors look to the moon to know when Passover is celebrated. Passover is a major Jewish festival. It's a week-long festival when Jews remember how their ancestors were set free from being slaves. It is in the spring in the United States. Passover usually begins on the night of a full moon after the vernal equinox. Equinox means the day when there are exactly 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. Equinox comes from the word equal. The vernal equinox is exactly halfway between winter and summer. Find the vernal equinox on a moon calendar. It will be in the month of March. And now find the date of the full moon right after the vernal equinox. That's when Passover begins. Our Muslim neighbors fast and pray for a month during the holy days of Ramadan. Ramadan ends with the new moon of Shawwal, which is the 10th month of the Islamic calendar. Christians use the Paschal full moon to decide when to celebrate Easter. The Paschal full moon is the 14th day of the moon's 28-day cycle. Whatever Sunday follows that Paschal full moon is called Easter. Sometimes Easter is in March and sometimes it's in April. It's all because of the moon. Some religions think that spirit is best known through nature, the sun, the stars, the moon, trees, animals, and plants. They are called earth-based religions. Sometimes they are also called pagan religions. There are other classes in the We Are All Neighbors series to learn more about the religions that were mentioned here. Who is my Muslim neighbor? Who is my Jewish neighbor? Who is my Christian neighbor? Who is my pagan neighbor? Passover, Easter, and Ramadan. At the end of each class, we read a promise together. Our promise.
I love my neighbor and everyone is my neighbor. I know that God loves everyone, no exceptions. I am a caretaker of the earth and a loyal friend. I will treat every person as they wish to be treated. I'll see you in the next class. Smiles, hugs, and lots of love from me. Kayoma.